That incredible viewer video from Westminster Park in Grambling showing the winds pick up during early morning storms. A quick developing tornado in the middle of the night, leaving extensive damage all over Grambling. The National Weather Service confirming an EF2 tornado touched down last night for almost six miles. And right now, crews continue cleaning up, trying to find and help anyone impacted or displaced by the storm. It brought down trees, branches, and power lines, leaving thousands without power. This mid-Michigan home had a tree fall right in front of it. Let's get you outside now where conditions have certainly calmed down. If you take a look over Flint, temperatures also changing, dropping significantly since yesterday. And this map showing many people still in the dark in Grand Blank with smaller outages peppered throughout other parts of the county. For some of them, Consumers Energy says the lights won't come back on until later tonight. Thanks for watching the news at 530. I'm Elise Ramey and I'm David Custer. TV 5's Trey Harris is live in Grand Blank in the area where most people are still without power. Trey, what are you seeing? The aftermath from last night's storm is all around me driving around Grand Blank. We've seen consumer energy crews working on power lines and gas leaks in the area. In some yards, there, there's debris everywhere, tree branches, limbs and even whole tree trunks. I spoke with one homeowner, Stan Peterzak who looks back at last night's storm and says he was very skeptical of yesterday's sunny and warm weather. Last night I was in the back of my property having an adult beverage, enjoying the 72 degrees, and uh, I moved my truck where I knew if something did happen, tree wouldn't hit it, and crazy it happened. He says when the trees came down, they sounded like explosions outside his home. He's one of the many residents here that are waiting for the power to come back on among the strong winds. But a, but a representative from Consumers Energy, excuse me, says the strong winds won't stop crews from doing their jobs. Strong winds are not um, impairing their ability to get the work done today. So they are out there working hard and looking forward to restoring power. According to Consumers Energy's power outage map, power in the area is expected to come back on shortly at the 10. So until then, stay bundled up and stay warm. Live in Grand Blank, Trey Harris, WNEM TV5.